use headphones for best experience. It's going to be another pajama ramble video. I guess the title for this series is now officially pajama rambles. I didn't call them that in the beginning, but I guess it was a comment on one of the videos. Um, someone, a, a viewer called it a paj pajama ramble. <laughs> so. I liked it and started to use it myself. Um, so I have changed the setup a bit because I also want to try this uh, this new setup with microphones. Um, yeah, I got these new microphones and I want to try and compare the sound from from them uh, compared to my old microphone that I've used for five years now and for a long time I really have wanted to do some changes or try some new equipment because there are actually a bit of white noise in my old microphone and I can't really get rid of it with the result that I am happy with. So let's see how how this setup will turn out. Um, I got, uh, by the way, I got the um, idea of, from of getting these particular microphones from a video. Um, a video from Gentle Whispering, who had a really nice video about her ASMR setup, the equipment she used, and also not only the equipment she used today, but also all the equipment she has ever used in her ASMR artist career. So it was very useful. Could compare uh, some microphones, cameras. And I decided to go for this Sennheiser microphones, condensed microphones, I think it's called. <coughs> and um, I, um, yeah, also I have this Zoom recorder. Zoom H5 recorder that I can plug in the microphones into. Uh, this one I bought in April, I think, so more than six months ago. But I really haven't found it useful yet. I had done some tests with it, but I uh, wasn't really happy with the results. So. Um, because then I used these built-in microphones and um, yeah, I didn't find the setup or setting that I that I thought uh, would increase the quality compared to my old videos so I didn't use it 
but now I'm using it with these external microphones. And of course I have to find a level, input level, that is good, and uh, distance from, from my talking to the microphones and everything, so I guess I have to test a lot. And these rambles usually are about what I'm thinking about at the moment, what's happening in my life and uh, also with the channel and everything, what's happening. Um, it's happened a lot this year, I feel, personally. Um, and I'm think I'm constantly thinking a lot about uh, everything. So I have actually prepared, or I've, I've been thinking for quite a while now that I should do another ramble in this series. Last one was in uh, uh, what could it be? May, I think. May twenty twenty. Then we had the uh, pandemic of 2020 had just started somehow. Or we weren't very used to it, and now it's still going on, uh, the second wave, and uh, we're more used to it, I guess, everyone. But this video will, will not be about the pandemic a lot. I just want to say that I I live in Sweden and maybe you've heard it but we've had quite um, it's been criticized quite a lot the how we have dealt with it the government and everything um, it hasn't been so so many restrictions really uh, more recommendations and um, no lockdowns and everything. So, um, pers personally, I haven't. It hasn't affected me so much on a personal level. Just wanted you to know that. But I, of course, I understand it must be have, have been a very difficult time this year for a lot of people around the world, and I think you're very brave that you have um, managed to go through very difficult times like lockdowns, complete lockdowns and everything like that. And now it's going to be interesting to hear the result of um, <laughs> this, the sound from this plane. Yeah, talking about planes, um, one thing that uh, has come with this pandemic is that there has been a lot, not a lot, I mean it has been less planes here where I live. So the conditions for recording videos ha has been much better actually. Before there were planes, like several planes every hour. You can hear them quite a lot from, from where I'm recording. Um, but yeah, mostly what I what has affected me personally is that I haven't been able to travel so much. I usually traveled. I used to travel quite a lot actually, and um, I think traveling to me has been very good actually for a way for me to see other things and uh, think about other things and get new ideas and um, distract me from my own thoughts a bit and that is what I want to talk a bit about methods to distract you from your from your own, own thoughts when they're 
when they can be too much for you. Um, your thinking pattern, how it works. If you spend a lot of time alone with your own thoughts, uh, and I have been doing that for several years, many years, um, then um, you start worrying a lot because you have so much time with your, with your own thoughts and you can't really compare it to anything else and then you start worrying about small things that aren't really important mm. and um, this year actually and also last year at the end of last year probably and uh, this year I have worked a lot Uh, on trying to get away from that uh, environment or that um, situations when I'm just uh, alone with my own thoughts and uh, worrying and uh, so yeah here I can say that the pandemic must have had an effect on many people so they used to be more like socializing a lot more seeing other people and going to work and having a lot of input to go from that situation to a situation when they're more alone with their own thoughts and of course what I'm to what I just have, have talked about mentioned must have happened a lot of people that you start to feel you start worrying a lot of course and uh, you get anxious and uh, soon your thoughts start to live their own, their own life and um, it must be very very difficult but since i've lived in sweden uh, during the pandemic i have um, been able to like actually socialize a bit more than before because I used to be alone a lot uh, not seeing friends so much not seeing family so much not going to an, to like an office or anything uh, working from home a lot and um, it hasn't been good for me uh, I thought it was good for me I thought that was my personality and I listened to parts of my one of my first uh, uh, videos in this series, the Pajama Rambles. And it was very cringy for me to listen to that. And but that, that, that's actually, I think, a good sign because it means you have progressed during this uh, past uh, two years. You learn a lot of new things and you're not thinking in the same way. But there I said I need to work from home a lot spend a lot of time with myself by myself um, and that's uh, probably true but now I'm in a situation when I feel I want to spend less time alone by myself and see people and get uh, in new input get new ideas and um, open up the world because when you have less time for your own thoughts, you have less time for worrying, worrying, and um, you can. Uh, it doesn't matter so much. Small th things that's not important. If you said something that you might think was stupid or some behavior, when you're spending time alone, this tiny thing can be huge in your mind and it can play a big importance um, but when you do a lot of things when you see a lot of people uh, it just doesn't matter because you live a life away from your thoughts somehow it's not uh, things happen all the time but uh, they become quite tiny
tiny when you do a lot of things and the next day you see another person maybe and or talk to another person and this doesn't mean you have to like see other people uh, in the during this uh, uh, pandemic when you're supposed to keep distance to other people you can of course uh, chat um, uh, contact um, through video chatting or text chatting and I used to feel the same uh, with that I didn't like it I thought that was I, I was more social um, social um, uh, anxious before uh, and I I identified myself as a social an anxious person that's just how I was um, but um, uh, where was I uh, yeah yeah, I didn't like chatting and like uh, writing things, like commenting or being on Facebook or um, Instagram or those, uh, everything like that. Uh, I was very anxious to do something there, like show that I was alive <laughs> there. Um, because then I got, every time I wrote something, a comment or something that people could see, then I got anxious about how they how they would interpret it. Then I got, like, I started to worry a lot. Um, okay, uh, that's how I used to be, and now I have. I'm really grateful that I have learned somehow to communicate, or I have been bet learned to be better on that. I have practiced, and I think it's fun when you see your progress and that you can communicate. Because um, it makes it makes you happy and it enrich it enriches your life. It opens up the world. Um, it gives you new interests, new hobbies. You don't get stuck in your own pattern, your own thoughts. You can start doing new things um, that you didn't know you were capable or of or that you wanted to do. And one huge step in this progress process for me has been this channel, working with this channel, and um, also the growth of this channel, because I've learned so much from it. Uh, I've learned to, first I had to like reply to your comments, I mean the first comments five years ago was like uh, I was so terrified what to write and also commenting other videos I thought that could be good for I have like read somewhere that you should you should show yourself from other channels I mean show that you exist so they might go and see your channel so I tried to like drop a comment on other ASMR artist channels and I felt so awkward and it felt I got so anxious after doing that and when I started to get comments myself I was so anxious what to reply in the beginning it was I mean every single line I had to write it was just um, horror <laughs> um, so I've learned to like having an ASMR channel and like uh, socialize with my with you, my viewers, communicate uh, has uh, really helped me to learn to like chat, to do chatting by text, and also these rambles. I mean, talking. Um, this is not really communication because you don't. I don't listen to your replies right now. Right now, I'm just talking. Um, but also the English language, I, it has helped me be, feel much more comfor com comfortable using the English language and um, 
also that has been a, a world opener for me because then you can meet uh, because before I was really stressed when I met a, a person speaking not, not Swedish because I only felt I was I only felt comfortable speaking Swedish and I was really anxious about talking speaking English it had to do with my social anxiety I guess um, but slowly I have learned to use the English language on my level here so I'm not anxious now when I'm talking in English to you I know I've, my vocabulary is quite limited but but I can use the the vocabulary I have and I always learn new things of course uh, yeah, the more you practice the more you the more you learn slowly I learn languages very slowly actually but it's fun I love languages I, it also enriches my life a lot uh, so it's a world opener having this channel and uh, communicate with you and hear your thoughts and read your comments and uh, yeah I'm very grateful for that uh, working with this channel also I use the expression world opener all the time because that's what it's all about from being social anxious spending a lot of time alone to enjoy life I have been traveling actually uh, but I've been very shy at those places I have visited and now I feel I'm more ready to communicate but I don't know I haven't been traveling now for, for a year but um, it's Everything I'm, t I'm talking about is still a process. I, it's not like I'm totally happy now. I just want, wanted to, to talk a bit about what have, what has been changing in my own thoughts and in my own life lately. And what I'm thinking about constantly. What's bothering me. Um, so yeah, if you're st still in this pandemic situation, you can... Uh, you can like pra start to practice uh, socializing actually uh, by start to chat with people just to reach out to people and um, you can suggest a video chat or anything um, and um, yep yeah. so you have learned you have taught me so much by just uh, showing up on my channel and writing comments and um, I learned so much about the world and then you request videos about topics that I didn't know much about parts of the world I, I hadn't read much about or heard much about and I do research for a video also fantasy worlds um, games you play and uh, popular games many people play and I just learned so much and I, I have mentioned this in other videos too but um, it's really it's so fun and you you have so much more to talk talk about with other people so it's easier to to meet new people and start talking about something when you when you have learned recently learned a lot you have so much more in common with other people of course other countries, if if uh, you meet a person from a country, maybe you have read uh, something about it when you when I, for example, did research about it, and you can start talking about things, and it's fun. Um, so, by the way, I had plans to start this video by showing you a very nice drawing. Talking about um, communication through my channel. 
So this is a drawing I got on Instagram from a, a viewer called Adam. So he had been, he said it had been doodling, doodling while listening to one of my videos. And then this is a drawing of a thumbnail, I guess, from one of my latest videos. So I think it's a fantastic drawing. I was super happy to, that he sent it to me. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for for your support for doing this drawing, this portrait. Um, yeah. So, actually, I have a. I wanted to talk a bit about how I. I mean, my methods I have found somehow to to learn to be more social because I notice now that when I am more social, I'm much more happy. Maybe I don't have as much time as before working with my channel and everything. Uh, it takes quite a lot of time to be social, at least for me. And you may, might have noticed that I haven't been publishing so many videos, like, I mean, compared to last year, I think it's less videos this year, and there are a lot of reasons that I, I, I can also mention another reason soon, but one of the reasons uh, has been that I have focus, I have been focusing a bit more on socializing. It takes a lot of my attention, actually. Uh, but I wanted to tell you what I did to progress somehow in this uh, in this um, field. Uh, what to call it, the, the socializing field, or I don't know why I called it that, it just sounded strange, um, how I managed to be more social, I wanted to tell you what, what I did, and what I think had has helped me. So I started um, about one year ago, I decided, yeah, first I started to like meditate, I wanted to meditate, and I did a video about that when I just started, so I try to do that every day, I'm not doing it every day, but I try, and then I, I thought about gratitude, because I follow someone called uh, Social Anxiety Kyle on Instagram, and uh, at some point he talked about gratitude. I think it was maybe Thanksgiving last year. And then I planned to do a video about gratitude because I started to think about it. And I'm not thinking about it in a religious way at all. But somehow to just... No, not depending on your wishes, what you want to achieve or have, just uh, to sometimes just... Uh, in a moment or in a general, you can be at just the very moment when you're stressed, you feel stress, maybe you feel stress a lot during the day, you're very stressed and tense, and, but then if you just can remember to step back and look out on the situations from di a distance, like not be totally in your own thoughts, but be a bit on the side or <laughs> step back I mean and look on, at the situation observe it then you can see just what you have and that you can you have always something you can be grateful about so you show gratitude to yourself and the situation and you can think about what you have achieved and what you have uh, maybe you don't have exactly what you wish for uh, because uh, everyone wish, of course, to be happy all the time. We want to progress and be 
more or more of everything but uh, just look at the situation and and think about what you have and uh, to feel gratitude yeah i think it's very good to do that sometimes i try to do it every day <laughs> or every hour first i try to do it like five times a day or something but i don't do that now but i used to think it's an idea that you could i think you could uh, try to practice it more i want to be better at it too and not feel stressed and irritated just calm down um, stop being like tense in your shoulders and everything and in your cheeks um, and uh, I mean yeah just a, a, a pause in your own thoughts so that was one thing I started to think about and then I, I wanted to start to say hello to people also recorded a video about that last year um, so I went out running two times a week something like that then I decided to I will say hello to as many people as possible just hello and uh, and seek eye contact with them and it was quite easy because when you run even if you you get very embarrassed after saying hello you you are running <laughs> away from them so you could learn to do that not with everyone i felt it was super super hard to do that mm. but i progressed a bit on that too to have i seek eye contact and to say hello to people um it was fun after a while i liked it it made me want to go out and run actually so I get well, also get some more exercising mm, healthier lifestyle um, and um, then I started to seriously think I wanted to stop drink alcohol I talked about this my relation to alcohol in my last page pajama ramble so i won't maybe i won't to talk so much about it now but um if you have seen that one that uh, ramble that i uh, recorded in may this year um because then i have just s quit uh completely quit drinking alcohol and I still haven't had uh, a single sip of alcohol. Uh, so now it's uh, seven months or so. Uh, but I started al already one year ago. I started to have more longer periods of time with no drinking. Like one week, two weeks. Mm. And in the beginning I didn't want to quit completely i thought i could handle it but after a relapse i had in april when i was drinking during the day even though i didn't want to so i think that's the problem when you drink without you don't want to drink but you still drink i think that's that's when you have a problem so like I said in that video, I didn't drink so much. And this day in April, I was drinking three glasses of whiskey, I think. Two, because I was so frustrated on work. Um, but after that, I felt that I should not be drinking and I should not even drink occasionally for a while now like socializing and those kinds of things because um, it's easier if i know i have like a long period behind me with not drinking it's easier to um, i mean if it's only like seven days since i last had a drink then it's not so a big thing if i have a drink again but if it's like three months since I had a drink then maybe you think 
you before you take that drink if you feel an urge to drink in a moment maybe if you if you consider all those three months behind you where you have been able to stay away from it then you might think one more orbit <laughs> what uh, I don't know how to describe it um, uh, let's uh, think about the thoughts that's orbiting your head then you might consider it one more time and and take the decision okay I will not drink so that's why I felt that I will stay away completely for a while now maybe I mean I will not decide for how long but just uh, I just want to be confident in in as it in um, a life without a feeling I need to drink alcohol at any occasion and now uh, after seven months without any alcohol I feel very proud because I have also learned to know I have met a lot of new friends I have been socializing a bit a lot more without alcohol and uh, that was something I felt was super impossible for me before then I felt uh, to get new friends or to socialize you really that's when you really need alcohol uh, because I was social anxious and that was the way I had found friends in the past only way so but my problem wasn't that I was drinking alcohol with friends like last year or so because I didn't see many friends I spent a lot of time alone but my problem was that I felt I needed for creativity and and to deal with pressure so I could drink uh, by myself uh, to concentrate and be able to work and that was when I started to worry but uh, that's also a reason maybe that you haven't seen so many videos from me lately because I'm still struggling with the editing process <laughs> I find it very uh, hard to edit my videos I, I, th I guess I cringe a bit seeing myself talking and listening to myself so and I have decided I will not deal with it with <laughs> alcohol like I, it could happen I did that before quite a lot so uh, then I decide okay if I can't complete this video this editing without alcohol I will not try to complete it for a while I will do something else uh, and there's a lot I have been doing instead so I have um, I have been outdoors a lot I love being outdoors uh, to feel the fresh air especially now in December when it's like quite cold it's so fresh to go outside and if you just you just have to wear warm clothes of course uh, to take walks in the morning to bike to run and uh, go walk uh, on a walk see friends take a walk you can still do that even if it's I mean spending time outside you can still do at least in Sweden uh, also with friends take a walk you can you can keep distance talk still talk and um, I've been out in nature I've been out in the forest if you follow my Instagram account you have seen a lot of probably you've seen this uh, pictures and sometimes I take some pictures from forests and areas I'm visiting um, so that's one way to distract me from my own anxious thoughts nature has helped me a lot and yeah out outdoors <laughs> has helped me a lot uh, not just nature it's also it's going to new areas you haven't been to I like history I like history of the local I mean local history of the area you're you're in so discover new areas maybe 
10 kilometers, 20 kilometers from your place if you take the bike. Uh, well, not 20 kilometers, but yeah, up to maybe 10 kilometers, I can take the bike and explore that area. And then go, uh, when I get home, I can um, Google it a lot and find the old pictures and find old maps. It just uh, creates new interests. So this is something I can do, actually can do myself. Uh, and uh, enjoy but also it's fun to do that together with friends um, but yeah um, what have I been doing more um, yeah I've joined um, a sports club for the first time in my life so uh, I'm not uh, I, mostly in the summer I did this I was running together with other people and learned to know more people by doing that it was super fun as well um, so you have something in common you can talk about of course uh, uh, and I also learned how to like I mentioned before, I've learned how to chat without being super anxious, and um, I have uh, managed. I have like uh, met people uh, through social channels like Instagram or or um, yeah, various apps. You can uh, download and install apps and can like um, it's not a big deal for me anymore to like reach out to people and um, seek new friends and uh, and uh, I've met uh, a couple of new friends by doing so so it's uh, it feels actually fantastic and um, well you get used to everything but if I if I like think back one year two years this was not possible at all I was so so anxious about all all uh, everything that had to do with socializing um, so I'm talking more easily to people outside when I in a situation when I see some and this is not perfect I there still are many situations I feel I should have said something uh, when I see someone or in, in a situation that that surprises me that a sudden situation unexpected situation outside uh, often I don't say anything or I just I become become shy and just walk away and afterwards I feel oh I should have said something it would maybe that we could have opened a new new contact or it would be uh, I mean, you don't know. There are so many people outside. You don't know <laughs> if you don't uh, talk to them or ask them something. Or um, so, yeah. This is still a process, and um, I'm still social anxious, um, but I'm working on it. And. Uh, also, I went to a psychologist. That was also, of course, a huge step in this direction. Uh, this uh, spring, I think it was in April, after that uh, relapse I talked about, when I had alcohol without wanting to. Um, and it was good. We met like seven times, I think. And he, my psychologist recommended a book to me, Live More, Think Less, by Dr. Pia Kallesen, Danish um, uh, psychologist, and uh, she's using a method called um, Meta 
She's a therapist and she's a metacognitive specialist. She has a PhD from Manchester University. It was really interesting and I can really recommend it. Um, it's very difficult to live, to follow the, 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 the pattern of thinking that is suggested, is suggested for you, presented for you in that book. But it was really interesting and maybe some, I have some new, maybe it has helped me and still helps me somehow. I, I, I can't say I, I practice it, the method, but you learn from reading it and it was really fascinating and interesting. It's about that you shouldn't, you should learn to practice to step out of your little, your narrow way of thinking. You're focusing on a, on a thought that can be very negative for you that can turn into a negative spiral, affect something. Uh, you need to learn to step out of that and look at something else, focus on something else. And there are, of course, many ways to do that. So I have my, maybe my own technique, like going outside. Uh, trying to see friends. Uh, trying to meet new friends, like I told you, um, my how I dealt with that, and also maybe contact old friends that you have that you haven't seen for a while, because uh, I I've had uh, more friends in the past than I've had than I had the last couple of years because I became more and more lonely and isolated. I isolated myself. Because I got anxious seeing friends and people. And it varied. Sometimes I felt that was so social, but then I could be in a period of time when I felt I wasn't able to contact them. Maybe they contacted me, but I didn't reply because during that period, period I was too anxious uh, about everything, I guess. I was kind of, I was depressed. Uh, so then a lot of contacts I just it just faded out I just uh, they stopped and I stopped uh, reach out and suggest meeting or something so but um, now actually I'm trying to contact some of them again uh, so so it feels like a week to be happy with a week I feel I have to see a couple of friends or hear from a couple of friends now and um, that's a priority I have and it takes some time of course it takes some planning and um, uh, energy but it also gives so much uh, to see friends uh, a new to learn to know a new friend it gives you so much energy it uh, gives you so many new ideas you hear about things that you haven't heard of it gives you strength and um, I mean I can I notice I can do things again that I couldn't haven't been able to do for a while that takes a lot of energy and planning uh, to plan a, a trip to um, uh, cook food, to bake maybe, and to bring um, picnic food and things like that, because you're excited, you, you will see your friends and you will have a good time together, to plan trips, uh, to um, and, uh, uh, start to research about things that you have been talking about the other day and learn new about more about it and um, just Again, a world opener, uh, of course, socializing with friends. Also, when you feel that you're socializing without anxiety, because sometimes in the past I have been seeing friends, but 
then felt anxious because I wanted to be perfect or something like that. But when, now I can feel I have moments with friends and I feel I just enjoy. Uh, I'm not ashamed of myself and and uh, we're just talking on the same level and it feels just great and um, yeah you just uh, you just uh, what do you say give and take and uh, win win somehow yeah um, I don't know how to describe it but uh, probably you know how it is um, I've missed it a lot actually and now I, I feel I have I have find found my way back to it and I'm still doing that um, I think I have covered most of the things I wanted to talk about today and what have been in my mind for quite a while now uh, so maybe I'll stop here and start to do some work with editing uh, there are a lot of videos waiting to be edited actually now we have another one with this one thank you so much for listening to me and for supporting me and um, for reaching out and writing comments and watching my videos so glad when you when I hear they help you somehow suggest things and request things thank you so much for that and supporting me on patreon and uh, paypal everything it's so fantastic and I will continue making content because uh, really yeah now I have a new, new microphones of course I, I still still um, invest in this channel I really don't don't want to quit or right? anything like that I hope you don't think so uh, but now you know a bit more about the situation I'm in now um, so let's hope for a great 2021 and uh, thanks so much for watching listening and uh, sleep well take care stay safe